Okay, here's a basic math test. I was just going to run through this. It's common to get into a nursing program or a trades program. Uh, these basic math tests are done without a calculator. Um, hopefully you can see it okay. There's only 10 problems here. They're decimals, division, um, adding, multiplying decimals, dividing, uh, knowing place value, rounding, and equivalencies. So I'll just run through this before you get started on this test or any kind of standard math test. Kind of five ideas I have to do well on a standard math test. Number one is prepare yourself and relax. So the best way to do that is just keep doing practice tests that you can find. I'll put a link to this test uh, in the description and then what I would do is I would do the problem and then when you're done with the problem then hit the video and see how I do it and check your work. Then do the second problem while the video is paused and then check your work. So preparation is kind of the key. Next is pace yourself. Um, so depending on how many problems there are, how much time you have, figure that out. If you got 30 minutes to do 10 problems, make sure you never spend more than about three minutes on any one problem. Mark up your test. So you do this for a couple reasons. One is so you don't make careless mistakes, you kind of highlight key points. Um, the second is if you can't figure out the problem, you end up going back to it and you need to check your work, you don't have to start all over again, all your work's right there. If it's a computer test, you know, you're taking it on the computer, mark up your scratch paper, make sure you label everything, label the problems so you know what you're doing. And then look for cues. You know, on this basic test, there's not too many cues on it. Um, you know, what are they trying to ask? Is it place value? And then number five is go carefully. You know, you got to remember the hardest problem on here has the same weight as the easiest problem on these math tests. And even if you know it, you make a careless mistake, most likely one of the multiple choice answers would be that careless mistake. So really go slowly and carefully, but don't over overspend your time on any single problem. Okay, let me change over to a Sharpie. So the first problem is 491 divided by 9. Here are your four answers. And as I could tell on my answers, I'm, I'm looking for a remainder. So 491 divided by 9 does not go in a 4, but it does go in a 49 um, five times, giving me 45. I subtract 9 minus 5 is 4, bring down the 1. 41, 9 goes into there um, four times to give me 36. 41 minus 36 is 5. So it's 54 with a remainder of 5. So there's the first problem, would be A. Next one, also division, 703. divided by 6, goes into the 7 one time, subtract, bring down the 0, 10, it goes in there once, 10 minus 6 is 4, bring down the 3, it goes into 43 7 times to give you 42 with the remainder of 1, so 117, remainder 1, so that would be answer B. Okay, turn the page. Oh, Sharpie kind of went through there. Um, express 71 one thousandths as a decimal. So this is 71 one thousandths as a decimal. So that means I'm going to move it over three places. There are three zeros on here. So it'll be three places over. So it'll be 71, one, two, three. So it's answer C. Or, yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. And this is the tenths place, the hundredths place, and the thousandths place, because this is 71 one thousandths. Okay, and number four, I'm adding decimals. 
So now that I'm adding decimals, I need to line up the decimal point. So I have 4.7 plus 0.9 plus 0.01. Got to stay in good order here, right? There's no numbers here. So 0 and 0 and 1. 7 and 9 is 16. Carry the 1 and get 5.61. And that's going to be answer C. Okay, Go to the next page, multiplying decimals, a little bit different. Multiplying decimals here, I have 0.59 times 0.33. I'm over one, two places, three, four. So my answer is going to be four places over. So three times nine is 27. Carry the two, 15 plus two, 17. Placeholder here, 3 times 9, 27. 2 again, 15, 17. Add those numbers together, 7, 14, 8, and 1. And remembering I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm over 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm 0 .1847. Well, that's not in here. I must have made a mistake. Oh, here's my mistake right here. 7, 7 and 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 and 1 plus 1 is 9. So I'm at point 0.1947. So point 0.1947. That's a good example of going too fast. I mean, careless mistake. So 5 is A. 0.1947. Dividing decimals down here. 0.84 divided by 0 0.7. I'm going to move this decimal place over 1, so that means I'm going to move it over 1 here. And now I have 7 into 8 is 1. 8 minus 7, 1. 4, 7 into 14, 2. Here's my decimal place. So my answer is 1.2. Answer D. Turn the page. I'm on number 7. So this is a ten thousandths place. So this is a tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So the nine is in the ten thousandths place. Answer C. Number eight, subtracting fractions, 0.87 minus 0.48. So this is about borrowing. I can't go seven minus eight, so I have to borrow 10 from here. So that 80 becomes 70, and then this becomes 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 7 minus 4 is 3. Those decimal places are lined up for adding and subtracting, and I end with 0.39. So number 8 is 0.39. And lastly, last page here. Round to the nearest tenths place. So this is, again, my tenths place. So a lot of place order in here. So to the nearest tenths place, this is larger than a 5. So I round up to get 3.9. And then lastly, number 10, which is the equivalent decimal number for 49 thousandths. It's kind of the same as the first one. So I'm going to go over three places. One, two, three. So it's going to be 0 0.049, which is answer C. And again, this is my tenths, my hundredths, and my thousandths. So that's 49 thousandths. So hopefully that helped. And kind of basic math problems, kind of standard for any sort of um, standardized math test. Hope that helps. And thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you liked it. I'd like to hear your comments down below. And again, I, I will go through this. I would try and do the problem yourself, pause the video, and then check your work. Practice is kind of the key so you can be relaxed during the test. Thank you for watching.